The HAL Tejas Mk2 is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated fighter aircraft in India's defense modernization story, blending indigenous innovation with global-grade technology. It represents a significant leap forward from the Tejas Mk1 and Mk1A models, incorporating lessons learned over years of design, testing, and operational feedback. Engineers at HAL and ADA have been refining not only the aerodynamics but also the internal systems to make the MK-2 a more versatile, powerful, and survivable aircraft. Unlike its predecessor which was primarily a light combat fighter, the MK-2 pushes into the medium weight category, allowing it to carry more weapons, fly longer distances, and engage in a broader range of missions. This marks a critical step toward India's long-term goal of self-reliance in combat aviation and reduces dependence on foreign suppliers for critical systems. When you look at the Tejas Mk2, one of the first things that stands out is its sleek, evolved shape. The aircraft's canard delta configuration is not just about aesthetics, it directly improves maneuverability and lift. The added canards provide better pitch control at high speeds, helping the fighter make tighter turns and sustain energy in dogfights. The body is made using advanced composite materials that reduce radar signature and overall weight, enhancing both stealth and performance. The air intakes and control surfaces have been redesigned for better airflow and stability at supersonic speeds. Even the fuel capacity has been increased significantly, which gives the MK2 longer operational range and reduced need for frequent aerial refueling, a vital factor in extended missions. Its airframe has also been reinforced to support heavier payloads, ensuring that the aircraft remains agile even when fully loaded with weapons and fuel. Under the hood, the General Electric F414 engine serves as the heart of the Tejas Mk2, providing close to 98 kN of thrust. This engine offers about 60% more power than the Mk1's F404, transforming the Mk2's flight dynamics entirely. It enables the aircraft to accelerate faster, climb higher, and carry heavier payloads without compromising agility. In simple terms, this new power plant means better takeoff performance, higher top speeds, and a stronger overall thrust-to-weight ratio. HAL and ADA engineers have designed the MK2 to utilize this power efficiently, with advanced fuel management systems and an aerodynamic frame that minimizes drag. The top speed is expected to exceed Mach 1.8, but what's equally important is how the aircraft can maintain high performance even at lower altitudes where dogfights are most likely to happen. The MK2 is expected to outperform the older Mirage 2000s and MiG-29s it aims to replace, giving the Indian Air Force a distinct edge in multi-role operations. Inside the cockpit, the MK2 feels more like a high-end digital workspace than a traditional fighter jet. The design philosophy here is centered around pilot comfort, awareness, and control. It features a wide-area touchscreen display system that replaces dozens of manual switches and gauges. The pilot uses a side-stick controller and throttle setup, known as HOTAS, allowing near-instant access to all critical functions without taking hands off the controls. The display integrates radar data, weapon targeting, navigation, and threat information into one unified interface. Night vision compatibility and augmented reality overlays are also expected to enhance situational awareness. This digital cockpit approach is intended to reduce cognitive load on the pilot, enabling faster decisions in high-pressure combat environments. The overall cockpit environment is designed to match the standards of the latest Western and Russian fighters, ensuring comfort and clarity during long-duration sorties. The Tejas Mk2's weapon-carrying capacity is a major upgrade over its predecessor. With 11 hardpoints capable of carrying up to 6.5 tons of payload, the Mk2 can be fitted with a wide range of Indian and foreign-origin weapon systems. These include beyond-visual range air-to-air -air missiles like Astra, short-range air-to-air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and anti-radiation missiles designed to neutralize enemy radars. There's also potential for future integration of the BrahMos NG, a smaller variant of the BrahMos cruise missile, giving the aircraft a formidable strike capability. Combined with the UTAM AESA radar and an advanced infrared search and track system, the MK2 will be able to detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously. Its electronic warfare suite will help jam enemy radars and evade missile threats, making it a difficult target to lock onto. This versatility allows the Tejas Mk2 to handle both air superiority and ground attack missions with equal effectiveness. 
Looking ahead, the development and testing phases are crucial. The prototype rollout is expected around late 2025, followed by the first flight in early 2026. HAL plans a series of extensive test flights to validate every system, from aerodynamics to weapons integration. If all goes according to plan, limited series production could begin by 2029, with the first operational squadrons entering Indian Air Force service by 2032. These timelines depend on the smooth progress of trials and certifications, which are typically complex and time-consuming. Once fully operational, the Tejas Mk-2 will serve as the backbone of India's future fighter fleet, complementing the indigenous AMCA stealth fighter and foreign platforms like the Rafale. It's a bold and ambitious project, representing India's growing aerospace capability and technological confidence. The world will be watching closely as this homegrown fighter prepares to take to the skies, marking a new era in Indian defense aviation.